Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today we are going to take a first look at the brand new breakout room functionality in Microsoft Teams. First off, what are breakout rooms? You can be in a meeting and maybe you wanna break out into smaller groups. This is especially valuable for say, a brainstorming session. Once you're all ready to come back into the main room, breakout rooms makes that super simple. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's check this out. Here I am in Microsoft Teams and today me and my team, we are going to be brainstorming new cookie ideas and breakout rooms will be perfect for this. Up on the top meeting controls, there is a new icon for breakout rooms. There's a larger rectangle representing the main meeting and then there's a smaller rectangle representing the breakout room. Let's click on this. This opens up a prompt where I can start to configure my breakout rooms. First, I can decide how many rooms I want. I can choose anywhere between one room all the way up to 50 rooms. I have a smaller group today, so I'll go with two rooms. Down below, I can also choose how I want to assign participants. I could let teams do the heavy lifting for me and I could set it to automatic. I can also manually assign participants to different rooms. The one option that's missing though is letting your attendees choose what room they wanna to join. Today, if someone wants to join a specific room, they'll have to ask you and then you'll have to manually assign them. I'm gonna go with automatic and next, let's click on create rooms. You can now see that I have two breakout rooms. I have Nestor in one room and Diego in the second room. And now this is a little embarrassing. I'm in the middle of recording a demo and I don't know where Adele is. She's usually pretty timely. And this is an exciting meeting where we get to brainstorm new cookie ideas. So I don't know where she is. There she is. It looks like she just hopped on. Okay, so we could finally get started. Now, unfortunately though, I've already gone through and I've already automatically assigned everyone to a room. Up here in the top right hand corner, I can see that Adele has not yet been assigned a room. When I expand this, I can click on Adele's name and now I can manually assign her to a room. Let's click on assign. This opens up a menu and I can choose whether to assign her to room one or room two. She works really well together with Diego. I'll assign her to room two. Here now you can see that Adele has been assigned to the second room. Now that was pretty easy assigning Adele to the second room, but let's say that I had many different participants who maybe show up late and I've already automatically assigned everyone. I can also go back to the prompt again and then automatically assign everyone. Up in the top right hand corner, there's an ellipses. Let's click on this. Down at the bottom, there's the option to recreate the rooms. If I click on this, once again, this will say, do you wanna recreate the rooms? Let's click on recreate. This opens up the very same prompt that we saw at the beginning. And here, once again, I'll choose two rooms and this time I'll simply automatically assign everyone and then create the rooms. My rooms are now configured again, but now I see that both Diego and Nestor are together in a room and Adele is in her own separate room. I wanted Adele to work with Diego. If I click on one of these meeting rooms, that expands it and here I see all of the participants in that room. I can click on Diego and here I can now reassign him to the second room. So now we're back to the original setup. My breakout rooms are now looking pretty good. Before I start the rooms, let's go up to the top right hand corner again and click on the ellipses. Over here, I have some room settings. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Within room settings, I have the option to automatically move people into the opened rooms. Once I start the breakout rooms, this will automatically take everyone from the larger room and then shift them into their individual breakout rooms. Also, I have the option to let people go back to the main meeting. So once the breakout rooms start, if they decide that they're done with their breakout room, they can then rejoin the main meeting. For now, I'm going to leave that unchecked and go back. Along with all of the settings in the ellipses, down below I also have the option to add additional rooms. Also, when I hover over one of the rooms, here I see an ellipses and I can open the individual room. I could also rename the room and down below I can delete a room. Let's go ahead now. I'm sure everyone's ready to start brainstorming some new cookie ideas. So let's start all of the rooms. Here now I can see Adele's view and she is automatically added to her meeting room. Back in my main view, I can see now that everyone has joined one of the breakout rooms. Finally, some peace and quiet for me as an instructor. Here I can see my two breakout rooms and I can see that both of them are currently open. Here I could expand a room and I see that both Adele and Diego are currently in the meeting. When I hover over the room and click on the ellipses now, here I can join a room if I wanna see what's going on. Once again, I could still rename the room and I can close an individual room. Now right now, Nestor's all alone in room one and I'd hate to leave him all alone. 
zone. Let me expand this. Here I see though that Nestor's not currently in the meeting, so somehow he got lost along the way. When I hover over Nestor's name, there's an ellipsis there, and here I can ask him to join the room. Let me go ahead and do that. Great, it looks like Nestor is now in the meeting. Perfect. Let me go ahead now and I'll join the room so I could brainstorm with Nestor. I'm now in the breakout room with Nestor, and he's brainstorming on his own, so I figured it'd be a good idea to join to see how things are going on. Now, Nestor, the sriracha cookie idea, well, I guess I should have a growth mindset, is a great idea. Maybe add a little bit of mint to it so it's not too spicy. Now, once I'm all done joining one of the breakout rooms, right in the top right-hand corner, I can then return to the main room and maybe I'll jump into another breakout room. Let's click on return. I'm now back in the main room and probably the best thing that I could do as the manager at the Kevin Cookie Company is to encourage and motivate all of my employees. And I wanna send all of them a message, but right now they're all in separate rooms. So how do I do that? Well, up in the top right-hand corner, I can click on the ellipses and then there's the option to make an announcement. Let's click on this. This opens up a prompt and I can now type in my announcement. I'm going to say, can't wait to see all these great ideas, just as a way to motivate people. Next, let's click on send. Here within Nestor's view, I can see that there is a new chat. When I click on show conversation, here I see an announcement from Kevin. It says important, can't wait to see all these great ideas. Yeah, I'm in a breakout room all by myself. Yeah, we'll see how many ideas I come up with here. We've had this breakout room open for a little while and I mean really, how how long does it take to come up with a great recipe? They should have hundreds by now. Now that we're all done, I can close the breakout rooms. Over on the right hand side, I'll click on close. Everyone will now rejoin the main session. Everyone is now back in the main room. Here I see Nestor, Adele, and Diego, and now we could share the output of all of our breakout rooms. If I wanna say kick off another brainstorming session, once again, I could go over to the right-hand side and I can restart all of the rooms. Also, let's say I wanted to mix it up and maybe change who's in which room. Once again, I could click on the ellipses and then I could go through the process of recreating the room. Well, I think it's time for us to share these new recipe ideas and that's IP of the Kevin Cookie Company. So I'm gonna leave for now so you can't hear all of them. Now that I've left the breakout room, Teams drops me back on the main calendar view. What if I wanna get back to some of the output from the breakout rooms? I can go over to the left-hand side and click on chat. Within chat, I could see a chat conversation for each of the breakout rooms. Here, if I click into room one, I can see all of the conversations. I can see all of the files, the meeting notes, and the whiteboard, so I can go back and access all of these. These breakout rooms have really helped us land on some great new recipes for the Kevin Cookie Company. All right, well, that was a quick look at how you can start taking advantage of breakout rooms. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. To see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see me cover any other topics, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.